Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, yeah, welcome to another session of Post Rails webinars. Today, we have a special guest with us who is uh, from Gujarat and who is specialized in uh, photographing the Asiatic lions, uh, Tapan Seth. And he is going to explain us about the uh, uh, Asiatic lions of the Gir Forest. And as of now, the, the uh, Asiatic lions are only seen in the wild in the Gir Forest National Park. So let's welcome Tapan on the stage. Hi, Tapan. Hey, Armish. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good, mate. Yes. So, yeah. Let's begin with your journey to photography and how you started everything. And then we'll go to your presentation on the lions. Sure. So, as you know, means, uh, my name is Tapan and uh, I'm based in Rajkot, Gujarat. So basically, I started my journey with, you know, like uh, I bought my DSLR for my family. Means when I was on vacation, I used to shoot with point and shoot camera. Yeah. And then when I'm, when my daughter born, so I initially needed a good camera to capture her moments. Mm -hmm. So at that time, I bought this DSLR and it was my 550D at that time. Okay. So, so that that's a kind of a camera. I mean, so, that's what I how I attracted to camera I means you know that's how mm -hmm. my journey started. And when we visited Gear, that was very my you can say very first wild trip to the Gear. Even into the wildlife, that was my first trip. Okay. And it was a kind of a family vacation trip. And at the time, I was carrying a single lens. I think it was fifty-five to fifty at that time, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was the first encounter with the lions at that time. <laughs> so when I saw, saw that majestic animal, you know, means a kind of a, a what you can say, a huge kind of a animal in front of you, and you fall in love with this guy. Means when I see yeah. that, and it was a first male only when I see. So it was a family tour, but uh, I don't know when here become my family and those lions become like a family member to me now, <laughs> you know? So today I'm going to introduce you to those family members. <laughs> yeah. So I can tell you about, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll explain, means I'll give you some information about the geographical area, about gear, means what kind of, how you can visit gear, what kind of permit processes, and yeah. a few lions pictures, which I have clicked and story behind those pictures yes right yeah sure yeah so i'm gonna share my presentation yeah i can make it full screen yeah is it good uh, it's not yet full screen yeah now it is great So, as you know, that means uh, this uh, Asiatic lions. So the gear is the only place means where you can find these majestic animals. Yeah. Like earlier, they used to be in the other part of the India. Like they were in Bihar, if I'm not mistaken, Rajasthan and all those areas. But mm -hmm. uh, slowly they went down and settled down to the gear. So by, if I'm not mistaken, by 1830 or something like that, by those time, they settled down in gear. So from okay. that time, you can see this majestic animal only in gear. Like, uh, mm -hmm. and when they settled down in gear, like uh, there was like a, you know, rajas and kings and everyone was there. Junagad, yeah. Nawab and every people were like, kingdom was there. And they used yeah. to like uh, kind of hunting this majestic animal. So around uh, 12, 13 lions per year, they were killing. They uh -oh. were hunting down those animals. So slowly they came to know like this animal was on the age of the instruction, like uh, there were around 12 lions at that time, okay. less than 12, you can say also. Mm. So by that time, the Junagads, Nawab and some English 
officers and they came into the action and then they started uh, this conservation and all these things so okay. from 12 to 674 as of now according to last census is 674 and a uh, kind of area as you already mentioned in the description like 30000 square kilometer area they are capturing at the moment mm. and because of their population are growing like they are moving out of the areas like and the gear is like gear is the where, where, where whichever area is occupied by the lion you can say that named as a gear like okay. if they move to another district or another village so it called as a gear so gear is a kind of a thing where you can see the lions where they're stepping ah, ah okay okay so let's move in for the first picture yeah so as this is the kind of a tourist place from where you can capture this hmm. landscape so it's around so there right now there are around 258 something square kilometer area which is a tourism zone and where you can have to be means you can apply for the permit and by permit you can visit this forest okay around there are 13 routes as of now mm -hmm. so this is the route which leads you to the dam site this dam okay. is called kamleshwar dam And you know, you mean say it's a catchment of a seven river. I mean, so you can there are there are around seven rivers which are passing uh -huh. through the gear forest total. Great. And when you talk about the gear and which when you are giving a kind of information about gear, then this is the lion. This is the very first click of mine, means which I have captured through the my basic camera. I means I was in the 550D at that time. Mm, okay. This was my first encounter with the lion, you can say. Mm -hmm. And this guy is a very famous for gear. His name is Raju. It's oh, so there also and, you uh, have the naming. Yeah, okay. they name means either the trekker. There are rangers who are moving yeah. around the forest area, or the village means the people who are living in the nest. Mm -hmm. So they name these animals. So this was so, the most, sorry. Yeah, uh, on that, we have a question uh, from an audience. Uh, why gear lions look old, sad, and malnutrition compared to African lions? So they are different from the I mean, so, uh, what you can say, their characteristic is different from those African lions. And as you know, African lions are having a kind of habitat that is savanna, right? Yes. Yeah, so we don't have kind of a there's a habitat over here. Okay, okay. So that's make the more difference to their means that they are moving capacity and all these things. Like as mm. you know, the common things like they are moving in savanna very easily and hunting is very easy. Correct. Okay. So I'll I'll come back later on about that characteristic and all these things in presentation. Yeah. Yeah. So and this is the most photographed lion in the tourism zone. Means many oh. people capture, and many of them. Means uh, click his life cycle also means from cop to the his last days. Uh -huh. So his name was Raju. Okay. So now this is the same guy. And the thing is that there are you know when it, when it comes to the summer there were artificial water hole into the tourism zone and all mm -hmm. over the area means. Uh, so government FD department and all those are taking care of this area during the summer. So they okay. can fill up the water hall. And so in the summer, you site them very well, means nearby water body or something. It will be easy to find them near these areas. Hmm, okay. So this is the same line. But as you know, like, you know, when you are starting in your photography journey and when you capturing this animal like you don't know anything any technicality about your cameras so at that time you don't have any idea about the aperture composition and all these things so you will come to know means how gradually you improve your photographing like getting experience from other photographers and knowledge of the habitat and all these things yeah this 
these are the cubs wow. i think this was my first sighting for the cubs uh -huh. and you know means uh, generally when they are in pride like a couple of lioness or means they move together in pride and they are taking care of each other's cubs okay. like it's not like that they are moving separately from like yeah main male lion do separate once after these cubs they are not taking care of these things but uh, these uh, lioness are always in the pride when they are with cubs yeah <clears throat> and they don't take cubs like generally we see in africa like you know they moving out with the cubs in the open area most of the ranks where they are very small also but these lioness are not moving out frequently when they are into the like around 2 3 months or something like that after one month or that they'll take carrying out the cubs okay as i mentioned earlier they always been in pride like mm, yeah the cubs are not from the same lioness but uh, they can move together then that the same guy is raju which i mentioned earlier he was in his last days like he was the very famous male and because of a territorial fight he got injured and like he was around 12 12 years means like we can all this he was not able to hunt you know yeah so this was this is a photograph from his last days the same guy now very interesting thing is that there is a railway track which is passing oh. through this forest and it is the walking one you know oh so what happened yeah so what happened that fd department and government had proper rules for this things like till date there is no kind of harm to lions in this area there were some you no know, accidents not as on other area but on this area this particular zone there were no harm for to the lion since the century established you know since this mm -hmm. the, the train is already there are kind of a timings when the train pass so the rangers are already there during those times and there is a certain okay. kind of a speed limit which is fixed for the train okay and there were many incidents like you know like the, these guys were on the track lying down or sitting on the track and uh, this train were stopped by the rangers or means uh, the train itself <laughs> stopped so they don't means uh, they you they used to follow all this kind of instruction which has been passed on okay this is the very kind of a unique photograph which i got earlier this is the same guy raju and he was oh. crossing down means and this uh, picture i got published in many places mm -hmm. like this women's there are many issues regarding the conservation and all mine but yeah as i said earlier means there were no harm to the lion in this particular area due to training uh-huh uh -huh. and you know this guy means uh, the name they are always unique to this lion and there are all lions who are there like this one this lion is a hot tutlo means his name is hot tutlo Hmm. and you see if if you see his lips is cut what is yeah, a yeah. gujarati word for the lip uh -huh. so there is a cut out in lip so his name was hot tutlo <laughs> so the the and picture you took from the uh, that uh, railway track and the lion that was during the safari yeah it was during the safari that uh, route is passed through the tourism area only okay so now this picture is a i mean it's a kind of a unique because you know you can get all the characteristic of the asiatic lion in this picture yeah yeah the main different you know the most uh, unique different between this lion i mean say african and asiatic asiatic lion you can say is a longitudinal fold of skin which is pass along through this belly oh. you see that skin is folding yeah yeah so you won't find that skin in the african lion 
and the uh, other thing is that the mane is short uh, compared to this asiatic lion sorry african lion you know and yeah. uh, because of their there uh, you can always see the ear of this asiatic lion that you tend to see means if you see african lions is hardly visible but mm. uh, asiatic lions ears are always visible due to this particular their characteristics and this picture was taken during the cyclone means uh, there were a cyclone called vayu i think last to last year and we were into the forest at that time uh -huh. now this is the same guy like as i mentioned earlier there was a water body means artificial water body created for the summer yeah so he was lying down over there and there was no photo photo opportunity for this lion and so we kind of got kind of a reflection in that water okay and you see this unique name kind of this lips you can see this in clearly why he name hot to look Mm -mm. Then he went up when drinking the water. So now you know whenever you go to the forest, now your driver and uh, guides are always important. Like they know how to position your gypsy and how you get the good photo opportunity. Yeah. and you can see these pupils also means uh, people sometimes having a questions like sometimes they see it very small and sometimes they are bigger one mm -hmm. correct yeah so they can distinguish like because of the light and all their particular characteristics they can find the difference this is the same lion now we got this one in winter like we we came from our hotel and at the what you can say entry gate i came to know i forgot my memory card <laughs> and then, and at that time only we went back to means uh, get the cards and all the stocks and when he came back we changed the route and luckily the i got this guy on front and this okay. was a winter morning so light was dull and you can see yeah. the gypsies behind it mm 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 now someone you question like they don't like look like a weak, weak lion and you can see how huge it is they look i don't know why they are questioning like this but when you see in the real na they are very huge I means if you are comparing with african lion there may be some changes but uh, in real you can see they are very huge on the same day means he was roaring and you can see this breath coming out it's a huge meal <laughs> yeah it's a very huge meal i don't know why people are questioning once you see them in real na <laughs> and what happened you know sometimes what happened there is there are safari times like you know as you know those are the common timings uh, yeah. apart from tiger safaris there is one more time is 8:30 to 11:30 mm -hmm. like so when you enter into in entering into the park and you'll see the lion in uh, like afternoon or by 11:30 or 12 then of, of course by if you know their characteristic you'll find them sleepy only yeah mm -hmm. if you know about means if you have if you have studied the lion and you you know like in the noon and because of the heat they always you'll always find them like sleeping around or resting somewhere now this is the lioness which we got after the park opened means uh, as uh, all the park are closed from june to october right yeah. apart from few which are open so if you like a green kind of habitat you are looking for and if you and gir is the place you know you can where you can go for the all three more seasons like summer winter and monsoon it's a tropical okay. monsoon kind of a forest so you have 
means a kind of a photo opportunity during all these three seasons uh -huh. and there is an interesting story like we saw this lioness and uh, we didn't know like like she was looking like here and there but actually means as i told you she she hide their cubs like you know and she roam around and when she found safe then they she call her cubs and after a certain period of time we saw some beautiful cubs over here okay and uh, yeah, one more thing that uh, yeah, there are uh, you know less opportunity this is my personal opinion means the less opportunity to click a wide angle photographs in these you know because yeah. if you compare africa and other savanna places you have you'll have a lots of opportunity to get all this wide angle frame correct yeah, but when yeah. it comes to gear it's a it's a kind of a dry cedars forest and dense both of the sides it's very dense mm. so when you capture yeah there are certain places which i'll share few of them it's very rare where you get an opportunity to click wide angle photographs yeah so now as i mentioned you can get all three seasons so these ones from the summer more yellowish yeah and this one is from the winter okay. like uh, some lioness and some animals were collared then uh -huh. you know so sometimes you know people find that why you captured the collar one but it's a, it's a kind of uniqueness you can find oh so when you visit the gear you'll get the totally different experience in all three seasons okay the same lion as now this is very interesting photo like you if you see a male this is a sub adult male and in the local language they called pathado Means so, a sub adult male called as a pathado in local language. Okay. And you see, as I mentioned, like uh, there are always a rangers and tracker around. You know, yeah. if you see in the background a male, someone is standing. Like, if you see with the stick. Mm, yeah, correct. Yeah. So those are the rangers, or mm -hmm. here they can say trackers. So okay. they used to be in the forest. In the means they are all over the place, but uh, they are assigned to their tracks. so their like a their main duty is to track the lions like you know they've been there if they find some injured male then they inform if mm. there is a kind of a in fight or any kind of a you know if if this lion was there for few days and that if they don't find it then they used to walk or they used to move around on bike and they are, they have to find like they have to get the news for this lions like if they are safe or not or getting a information about those lion yeah you see how they can monitor this lion the tourist vehicle is there and there is a tracker also so, so they are used so to they humans are very... now. sorry they are yeah, used to humans the, yeah the, yeah gear gear the most unique thing about gear is the coexistence of lion and humans you know like if you have seen the some whatsapp videos they are passing through the villages and they if they hunt any cattle on the road you know mm -hmm. in the village then yeah. they they means without any fear means lion was having his meal and people are moving from there mm. so that's the most unique feature because you know there are maldaris i'll share some screen later on like maldaris yeah. that i'll come to later on when i come to that screen i'll i'll tell you about that okay so now this i got this two sisters were on the mock fight like earlier we came to know means they were there and they are also subdivided <clears throat> so this is a mock fight means we can they were playing together mm hmm hmm
So these are the two men which I called him in the Pathara, they told him. Oh, yeah. So you got some, well, I means the lighting opportunity are always good there, apart from the wide angle. Mm -hmm. So this male was again was injured in fight, and if you see his eye was injured. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, there means he he was not able to see through one eye. You know, so many times he used to be so close to the gypsies, like you can pet them. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you know, like a driver and guide. They are always yeah. important to us. Means, like when I capture this lion, you know, we were moving. Means we were looking for lions, and there was a jackal. Means the jackal was there, and he was having a, a kind of a, some stolen meal or something. He was eating peacefully. Was there, and we mm. saw some good lights <laughs> over here. So we captured a couple of clicks for that jackal, and suddenly what happened? That jackal went up and uh, ran away with his meal. So when so I, I clicked a couple of pictures and I told my guide, let's move. And so we already clicked the photographs. Then he told me, like, sir, wait, that jackal was um, in a kind of a fee in fear and he ran away. So we can mm -hmm. wait for some time and we'll see what happened. And like a couple of minutes more, me, we waited and I saw this huge milk coming from nowhere. So always means we have to trust our guide and driver. Like they yeah. have been always grown up over those jungles and their experience help us a lot. Yeah, that's more important. Yeah. Then we can be really good. I got very good photograph of their lion. It's a beautiful light it is. Yeah, very beautiful means. That was because of the light only we were there, there to capture that jackal and then we got this amazing lion. Mm -hmm. And you see, I already told you about this characteristic. Their ear is always visible due to their mane. Uh -huh. Like if you compare to African lions, it's not more visible like this one. Then this is the photograph which I got awarded for Nature's Best 2016. Oh, wow. Yeah, the same story, like after clicking that line, we move further and this was the mating pair. Mm -hmm. And this line where Minso was sleeping over there. And as mentioned, like my guy told me we can wait for a couple of minutes. Like I feel like he will wake up and move on. And uh, he just uh, move forward, means move forward about Gypsy and uh, he turned around and hardly I go, got three to four clicks of this line, this picture. <laughs> so this was the photograph which I won for the 2016 Nature's Best. So like this was uh, yeah. it's also exhibited in Smithsonian because of the nature of best. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, you, you see, like, they used to trend their nails for the territory marking and all this. So I always try to get, means after clicking so much of lines, photographs, like you are always looking for a different kind of composition. And which will be useful for the, means a kind of a documentation and all these things. Okay. Now you see how used their poise. Yeah. Now this is a photograph which I got from the territory marking. And his name was Tilio. Like he got a kind of a, a wound over them uh, in fight mark on his head so because of their name tilio okay 
so I, I I captured a few of the photographs, like how the territory marking is going on. Beautiful moments. Yeah, I mean, so these are the moments which you can click and the photo opportunity you have to always looking for, you know, I means uh, like uh, from other forests, there is the different like uh, you both the side you'll be either they are in the bushes or in the dense area. Yeah. So this is what I'm talking about. Maldar is a nest. Oh. Like like from ages, you know, this Maldar is the people on the bike are the residents inside the forest. Okay. You know? Yeah. So from ages, uh, tribe called Maldaris are into the forest only. They are living in the gear forest itself. Like mm. it's uh, not like a village, but uh, three, four huts. And it's a three, four huts are kind of a area and it's called Ness. So their main business is the cattle and milking and all those things. So they used to live in the forest area itself. So because of that, that lions are used to some peoples, you know, they always been there, around there. So whenever you see this kind of moment, like they always been to the forest area passing through and they can stop the vehicle and let them pass. Even they pass through, means I'll show you in next photograph, how close they can pass through the lions. See. <laughs> So these are means they are used to means these animals are means living with the people from since ages like you know yeah, so yeah. because of their coexistence and it's a kind of their nature means if if you don't harm they don't harm you. Even their kids were means children were playing around those nest and if, if they see the lion they move silently from there and so they were no harming if they are see the passing lion from there okay like see if if they see the lion mm -hmm. or they are on the area they can stop the vehicle and wait until they pass on like it's not like that they move the bike and they force them to get up the, from there or disturbing them yeah Yeah, see there. If you see in these photographs, these two male. Yes, yes. These are the subadult males. Means our gypsy was in front of them, and those guys were behind. So this is the most unique feature of the gear: their coexistence with the community. Like these people used to say, like if there are lions, and because of that, we are established here. If there were no lion, we are nothing. The same moment I capture. Those are village people again. Yeah. Means they don't force that, like, you know, it means if there is a gap, you see, if they want, they can pass through the lions. Like, there yeah, are enough yeah. space. By. Correct. Yes. But they, I know, I means we were there and they, I saw them like they were waited until they move into the side and then they cross the line. Yeah. Now, as yeah. I told you, means there are less opportunity means when you get the wide angle scene. Beautiful. Yeah, those are some spaces. Means if you know particularly, means like many times I got questioned like how you means we, we were in the safari and we didn't get the lion and how <laughs> often you got those beautiful moment. But uh, I like to say means uh, if you move regularly to those places, nah, like means I've been to gear uh, 10 times a year. So you'll get a more, fo more photo opportunity. Like if you've been to those one place regularly, then you'll okay. get the more and more captured. Mm -hmm.
the same thing. I means I got beautiful light over here. Yeah. And this guy was running through the uh, there were a kind of a shades and all this. Now this was a kind of a mating pair. Yeah. And this lion was trying to mate this lioness. <laughs> But uh, you know, means I've been to gear many times. Like uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, you believe it or not, I hardly got a good click of a mating line. Means very rare. Means people used to get those clicks very well, but I hardly got one or two good clicks of this mating pair. Like this was one of the scariest experience I had. Like this was the mating pair on the road itself. Okay. And like I didn't get a kind of a photo opportunity. So we just uh, hardly we move our gypsy for one meter or something. And this guy was moving towards us. Like you don't dare to cross me. Mm. Like he, he was always near to our gypsy. Like we we are used to these lions, but it's a kind of experience you can thrill. <laughs> like these are the couple of photographs which I got from the mating lions. Like many times I, I I thought like to click a single lion, like a life, life cycle of a single lion. But you know, as a being a profession, means we are not full time into the wildlife and all these things. So yeah. it's hard to get time for these particular things. Like gear is hardly three hours from our place. But uh, many times we got the news like something is happening, but because of the profession and all these things, we can't move. Okay. Like when when you get these lines, like a kind of a compositions you can get. Yeah, that's a brilliant frame. Yeah, we waited like a find out means I know means I'll get this frame. Like those mm. things happen by experience, you know. Many times people yeah. got we got some kind of photograph. So you have to wait, like means we waited like a half an hour for something. Means this uh, sub adult male was exactly front of this line we were not getting. The mm -hmm. face of this line, and I, and I knew like if move, if this guy move, then we'll get a kind of a frame. This is the same kind of frame I got. Means you get many photo opportunities during the summer if when when they are near water body. Yeah. Sorry. So now this is the kind of uh, you can say an uh, Asiatic lion's uh, royal pose. Means if you see their total characteristics, you can find out then in this picture. Apart from that belly skin. Yeah. Yeah. That's so whenever they used to be in a kind of a pose, you'll get the good pictures. Sorry, we have somebody else joined with us, Nisha. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yeah, I hi, Nisha. How are you? Some of the images, especially the one which was, you know, right behind the female and seeing the eye through the legs, they were really amazing. And Thank see how you. royal it is. Yeah, you know, means uh, in my journey, I, I I must tell you this, Nisha played an important role. Means uh, she didn't know even I just realized when the seminar <laughs> came to know. But uh, I still remember when I mean say when I was in this field. Like I, I told you earlier that I used to have this lens 55 to 50. Okay. And I saw one day, I, I saw a picture of your posing with your prime. You bought recently <laughs> at that time, <laughs> like a Canon. <laughs> 600 mm. Yeah. And I message that forced me to message you. Like I messaged you what kind of lens it is, how much is cost. And when you saw, say the price, you know, you told me the price now, like, <laughs> Let's forget it. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did the same thing uh, for ourselves. You know, when we, we when we started, we started with right. eighteen two hundred. That is from Sigma. 
so oh. it was like from 18 to 100 to 50 500 right hear me yeah yeah it was it was a i think two or three years daily before we got into the prime lens so when we started yes when we used to see this big cameras and lens we were like uh, maybe in next genom <laughs> <laughs> no, but before I before I saw your picture, I didn't know. I Means like these kind of lenses are there also. <laughs> before we got into this or start to become slightly more keen into it, till then, yeah, this is all in the media. Yeah, and when I heard about your incidents, like you had an accident with your lens, also, right? Yes, twice. Ah, so means I also at that time like how how can afford the second lens and all this? Yeah, but yeah, well, I mean thankfully I managed to save it. That was the good point of it. Yeah, I mean I lost the camera. Uh, the camera didn't work, but then the lens I managed to save. So that was yeah, that was big. And in fact, yeah, after that, that it started to become better. <laughs> so I think <laughs> that doesn't. It's not an advice to dip your camera in water. But for me, <laughs> even though I lost my camera, but lens was really performing way better than before. Yeah. So yeah, you know now crazy, when but, we are you know, it's scary too. Yeah, it means I mean now when we are on safari and people are means uh, very excited about uh, prime lenses. At that time, I came to know what I was feeling at that time. <laughs> yeah, we all go through the same journey. So okay, so let's like, yeah. uh, move now. Yeah. yeah, the same. These are the two brothers. I Means they are sitting together, but a kind of a place. They have I got the both pictures very well. This is the second guy. Now this is the cowboy which I got earlier. Means and the light were beautiful. Means. Uh, it's very right. Yes, I like means uh, I I like to capture the cubs when they are in. Wow! Look at that reflection. Yeah, but uh, th those are what you can say when you forgot your wide angle or other lenses. <laughs> you don't get the full frame. <laughs> Gear is means if you are with the three hundred prime, na three hundred or four hundred, it's yeah. enough for you in gear. Like, like they are means as I mentioned, they are very close to you means. Like you can see the line from very close. Okay. Now, uh, particularly, I like to click the portrait means. Uh, portrait is my favorite subject means when it comes to the lion. Great. So I'm 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 gonna uh, share some of the portraits which I like the most. Thank you. This is the one. This is the one. Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. You've got this, a uh, this, in it. Yeah, and uh, for the funny thing is about that that picture means this guy was very close to us, and we were just uh, like clicked enough pictures. Of this, and we were just enjoying his sighting. And what happened? Like a, there was a kind of a garden lizard passing through it, and he just grabbed it and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, he was like this, like a, just a small garden lizard. And I, within a second, means like he grabbed and gulped it. The same guy. Now this is the oh. backlit which I got. That's lovely. Now this guy used to call it Bardo because he's because of his eye injured, and because of that he has a kind of wound of nearby eyes. Okay. So, so in the local language, Bardo means a blind guy. Oh. So, so they used to call it Bardo. That light so, on the eyes make it so different. Yeah, 
yeah वैसे if you are in gear and if you are visiting in summer ना summer evening is are amazing always summer evenings you can all and there are certain areas which are like a open area so lights are very beautiful all the time Now this guy was there means uh, he was walking front of us head on and suddenly he went down like this and waited like this only means then we came to know he had a in in fight injury and because of that he has a kind of a maggots in back side of his head oh. so he always irritated by that the same line but he was having a Is you know because of the maggots he was irritated. Yeah. <laughs> the same means uh, we were surprised like he was walking front of us and all of a sudden he went down like this. Again the portrait. Now this comes my favorite part, cubs. Cute. Like this was uh, my first sighting for the tiniest cub, but after that I got wow. the more means uh, another one. But this was the very first tiny cub I found that. Like uh, means uh, there was a story. Like uh, means uh, there was a one male lion. and this lion is means make sure that lion was not around those area because you know because of those territory issues and all this so she was like in a kind of a area waited for 5 days been there oh i mean i got some good shots from the same sequence This is my favorite. Like means you know means cob is there and you got the mother's reflection in the water. Beautiful. That is excellent one. What a frame. What a story. Yeah, means uh, when you are gear, means uh, you get a less opportunity to get those storytelling pictures, you know. But if you have a kind of a moment, you can capture means. this oh, was from the same oh, sequence the head is almost equal size of the tongue yeah yeah <laughs> this two these are the two means good pictures this one and after this one like a, you know kind of a like mom is like teasing the calves and now Cub is teasing the mom. <laughs> wow! Amazing. Yeah, it's a means. Uh, sometimes you know you get these cubs means tiny ones, but uh, the. Uh, tough part is that they don't take them out on the open areas you know till they feel safe and proper this was after the monsoon means the park is open in october na at that time you find the greenery over there apart from there means after the january or something like that you'll find the all yellow ish this is the rarest moment i got in my all the time since 8 years of journey 
what a frame and it's not carrying by the neck it's carrying by the yeah that's the unique thing like you know mostly if you see the pictures like uh, yeah. they always hold by their neck and uh, light was very bad but fortunate to get this photograph you know oh this is amazing like this i got in last march means a month before couple of months before and it's a very rare I means uh, the uh, lion in gear you don't see to find this kind of photograph I means a very rare I means hardly they take out their cubs in this age lovely <laughs> the same sequence. same yeah same sequence but the only thing was that the bad light means otherwise yeah. it was a wonderful picture means you know you get all the details and everything foi and it was like on the hilly area and he, she went down with her taking like from up to end now see there is a devaliya there is a zone interpretation zone that is called devaliya in gir so if uh, you means uh, tourist don't get the permit means uh, for the tourism area which is a core area we can say where you can see the lions in wild so this is the place where they can see like these are the captive lions but is a kind of a enclosure they have to move around right okay yeah. so this is the place they can like a what we can say a private gaming park in africa mm -hmm. oh okay a conservancy here uh so in particular area they, it's corridor and they move around okay. this area only okay so this it, is was the it famous after rain or something or yeah. it was during rain season yeah during rain season it is this is the place which is open during the monsoon also oh, okay and he, this guy was very famous like many people doubted like it's an african lion oh, because of the size Yeah, size and the man. Man was very big. Yeah. Yeah, I can Looked see like, it. Like, see, this wow. is many were doubted. Like, it's an African one. It really <laughs> looks like very... an African one. <laughs> like you know, but uh, this is a very good uh, kind of uh, initiative by government. Like, if you want to observe them, like many tourists were coming from long distance and all. So if they don't get permit, they can easily see the lions over here. Hmm. The same guy in rain. Uh -huh. I love means I always love to capture them in green. My favorite, <laughs> like you know, by uh, apart from that, almost the time you will see the dry forest and uh, lions are yeah. like yeah. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> if you have any question you can ask sir yeah, yeah sure 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 we have every image was like you know i know i joined slightly late but then from wherever i have seen and whenever we see your pictures uh, on internet itself it's so nice the way you frame it is really amazing and my favorite if you ask me from the whole uh, definitely that one with the reflection is crazy <laughs> the mother's yeah. reflection and the young one. The thing is that you, 
you know like uh, whenever i see these lions na like a bollywood song playing in background like a whenever see the lion <laughs> background music started playing i i can totally relate it it's I, really I, amazing i don't know yeah i don't know but i am very much attracted to this animal i'm like don't know what will what is the connection and, but and maybe maybe I, that's the reason uh, you have almost all the characteristics and behavior and landscape everything related yes. to asiatic lions you have it in yeah but uh, this uh, i one thing i like to mention you know this place where governments uh, one of my friend mr yogendra shah yeah who introduced me to this place and i can say he is my mentor like uh, he helped me lot to understand about this forest about this animal he okay. used to color this land he was a researcher and uh, all these things but i must thank him like i don't mind to thank him publicly also like that's better yeah so if he said him, such a maybe we can pull him in for one of our talk sure sure i'll let him know means surely yeah. he'll be elaborating more things about land like which we don't know the more the better like yeah i mean so we can uh, see means how, like our eyes from the photographer of you like <laughs> yeah yeah the moment it is scientific it had definitely yeah you know, exactly yeah so uh, somebody is again asking like how do you compare uh, asiatic lions with uh, african lions comparison i mentioned earlier there are the main characteristic is their uh, longitudinal uh, belly means a skin yeah. which runs through their belly apart from their size is a different and other thing is their mane is short and their ears are always visible tend to visible and uh, the main main thing is the you know, skin belly belly skin means always yeah. that is absent in uh, sorry african lion okay either in lion as female or male if you yeah that is the main characteristic you can see directly so we have a question from sandeep again uh, how do you shoot low level in gir safaris are you allowed to step out of the vehicle and shoot no when in india you mean say you can step out from your vehicle like as i mentioned earlier like driver and guide yeah it's all about the positioning positioning yeah like you know there are means a kind of a hilly area or slope kind of a road and yeah. lions is looking like the if i can show you the same picture you can see right yeah uh, yeah so yeah so he is coming out from the hilly area yeah. okay. and our gypsy was on the top of the area yeah yes. yeah 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 so you can get a kind of a level I means as a if as a photographer we all know means how to capture those shots yes these photos literally uh, change the whole perspective of gear lions yes. like yeah. it, it it shows it is very majestic I, I, yeah, mean, i mean in, in general with, with they are really awesome but then this look extremely uh, yeah. similar to african lions yeah and because of their nature you know and their coexist existence with the locals and communities people having a kind of a misconception with the like means so they like oh ha theek hai wagera aisa but if you see him then real na they are very huge very huge yeah so uh, have you ever been to uh, africa yeah i been to africa so uh, what is the uh, like uh, photography experience between uh, capturing both the lions see i must say I mean sir africa you'll get the more opportunity photographic opportunity is more like you can yes. compose the frames and because of the savanna and the habitat right yes. like if you want to capture a silhouette of the lion that is very tough in gear yeah correct yes mm-hmm. uh, next to impossible i can say getting a silhouette <laughs> in the gear yeah and one more question from sandeep what animals do they prey on in gear are there any other predators like hyena leopard etc yeah hyenas are i i hyenas are there leopards are there apart from that nail guys spotted deer sambar so they are mainly used to uh, depend on uh, this nail guys and sambar and spotted okay. deer okay leopards are means a uh, uh, main uh, kind of a huge population of leopard and marsh crocodile means, uh, i show you the first picture of the dam itself yeah. 
yeah so population are very huge of leopards and cheetah also okay okay and uh, the lens that you recommend for a, a trip to gear see i must say 300 to 400 is very good okay yeah and if you are a uh, i mean uh, go for the wide angle then it's up to your choices wide angle you can go anywhere yeah, okay. yeah. great yeah, i think we have covered almost all the questions now that's great, great. yeah yep. so thank, thank you. you thank you thank Kevin. you Thank I so must much. thank you for this opportunity. I must thank you guys. <laughs> and I like no I'm a huge fan of both of you like uh, I used to <laughs> see Armin's picture but Nisha's picture I'm following from so long. <laughs> and I'm very jealous. I am very jealous <laughs> like uh, last all month you spent in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> no for both of us uh, you know gear and Asiatic lion you know the moment you know that there are only 500 plus left in the world in the wild Yeah, that becomes so rare, and it's such a. We feel that you are such so lucky. <laughs> you have so much opportunity to spend, you know, spend time with this beautiful species. Yeah, in I'm fact, sure I was I was telling Tapan we uh, go. We used to go to Gujarat yes. every year, but we never went to Gir or uh, catch uh, LRK or anywhere. Yeah, we we were the just concentrating on the beast. Miss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but these are amazing. Yeah, you dreams. you must come. You must visit Gear once. Sure, we will sure, definitely sure. once these things are over. We definitely will plan something. That's why I told you, na, I'm jealous because you know we were <laughs> <laughs> we work from home and you were having a fantastic time over there. <laughs> and always alive, always alive. And so I was always following you, like those live sessions and those photographs. <laughs> yeah, it's um, it, you know, that was the. positive side of pandemic you know people kind of start to spend time at home uh, yeah. kind of having a better relationship i'm not talking about every everyone but then in general a family yeah. time is kind of getting better that um, connection is kind of getting better in one way right. but yeah on the other side it's a lot of negative too <laughs> right Maybe hopefully we'll uh, catch up soon. Get one more session with another species or location-based story. Yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, no then. worries. See you again. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. So that was an amazing session and some. Yeah, we got a lot of comments dreams. here as well. I can hear your echo. I need to keep my headphone with me. I think that's the only option. I'm not able to hear the echo, but um, finding my headphone right now. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Now we have one more session. Interesting session coming up with amazing photographer. Can you guess? You tell me. Jeffrey. that's on oh that is what something which which a lot of people have questions you know yes. we get a lot of informations or questions about how to participate in a competition so yeah if you so. are looking for participating in a competition and what the judges are looking for in a picture then please do join us on 6th right yeah on, on 6th yes yes 6th yeah, evening on the same sixth, time at same time and there is one more thing he uh, today we have uh, a magazine launched our magazine uh, 29th edition of pt explorers and yes. jeffrey wo is the uh, uh, cover story cover, sto cover story is by jeffrey wo so go and check everybody i will post the link here yeah and uh, the cover story from jeffrey wo then we are we we are going to going all the way to norway from uh, Roger then we have another session from Costa Rica from Manuel and then uh, we have um, yeah this edition is in fact very good uh, mostly from uh, i think mostly from uh, Kenya only <laughs> like interesting part uh, yeah Neeli Gudka Neeli Gudka again uh, her as a woman views photographer and views and visuals uh, yes 
and uh, Arav Arav Shah talking about his like in the Cubs corner, right? Cubs corner, eleven year old kid, and you should see the pictures, man! It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable images by an eleven year old kid. But then yes. yes. Uh, you know his father is parit uh, definitely he got so much opportunity but then until unless you have that kind of interest it's difficult correct and the wild art section you should see the artist as well as his work it is so beautiful <laughs> and the gallery so everything together when it comes to the quality of the photos it was really amazing you know so i want to show is, here <laughs> yeah yeah that's better so one species we were we kind of uh, hermit's coming black now no okay wait yeah and uh, no it uh, yeah it now is coming okay so basically just a see through yes just a glimpse again an image of jeffrey then arav shaw on the left and neeli yeah, gupta on the have... bottom Yes, we have uh, from Costa Rica Manuel San Sanchez, yes. uh, then Thomas Morf, uh, we know C L A Kutch Diary, Art of Conveying and Feeling Through Illustration, Wild Art by Gabriel. Let, and let this, me just uh, Thomas there. Thomas Moore is an interesting story because it's a husband and wife. And the article is by uh, Thomas, but then the part is they have been spending their time on road for last seven years. So they have so many stories, and this is one story from one of their African trip where a baby elephant was getting killed by a pride of lions. It's not a, it's a sad story, but then it is. This is the moment so Jeffrey. different. Wow. And Jeffrey, as you know, you all know, uh, Jeffrey is known as the king of hunts. He has seen 300 plus hunts in his uh, career. So wherever Jeffrey is, if you are going to be with him, you will be able to most likely see a hunt. And another and uh, conservation Roger. story by Roger. Yeah. And you remember he was talking about he spent 10 years waiting for that particular picture of uh, this arctic folks to be in front of a, a moon yeah. what a light from costa rica And the Costa Rica article is about three different species when it comes to turtles. <clears throat> this is the Cubs Corner by Arav. Yeah, Arav. I look at him, he's such a small kid. Yeah. <laughs> amazing pictures. Amazing images, amazing. And Neely, yeah, Neely. Neely good cast, views and visuals. the lens thomas morph the kill yeah, the elephant kill have a look by vinod cl amazing series it's with birds as well as the wild ass and the fox Once again, the wild art section. section. Beautiful drawings. Yeah. And the kind of detail. Yes. See. It's so difficult to understand. It is not a picture. Yeah. Uh, now Little back Ram to Raju. The, your gallery session. Some very rare moments, huh? 
Hij Nip Chaudhri. Ja. Shyam Maniraj. Gautam Ganesh. Jibin Jain. Amarjit Singh. Bharat Rawat. Yeah, and that coming. Yeah, that's it. So let's wait for the next one from our um, Jeffrey. Yeah. Who, until then, please make sure you are last safe. And uh, yeah, and I have also you. given the uh, online magazine link over link. here in the comment. Anybody yes. want to view can view. Yes. On that note, let's say bye for today. Yes. See you on sixth. Yes. Take care. Stay safe. Stay everyone. safe. See you soon.